So we are now on the way to go to the game. This is gonna be really exciting. So I recently had the chance to watch a UVA versus Duke basketball game. One of the best college basketball games, or you know, basketball games in general, I've ever had the chance to watch. I know that I was very fortunate to get a ticket because I know that there were many students who requested tickets, but since there weren't that many tickets available, not that many students could have gone. And if you wanted to buy a ticket, they were they were on sale for like upwards of hundreds of dollars, which kind of made me feel better, you know, that I got a ticket. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate for everybody else, though. Okay, so let's stop talking. This is how the night started. What is, what's wrong with you? Sorry, sorry about that. So here was an instance where I actually tried to sneak in to an earlier group so that I could get a better seat. Um, that ended up not working, but let me explain the lottery system real fast. So here at UVA, we have a lottery system. The lottery system works by, if you want a ticket, you request a student ticket. That gives you one entry into the whole lottery system. Then we have something called Sabre Points. Sabre Points are points that you get for going to athletic events. For some football games, you get five points. For other athletic sports, you get one, two, five points, and they all stack. You don't lose points when you request the tickets or if you get tickets, but you do lose points if you request the ticket and you don't go to a game. Basketball is the only sport here that goes by the lottery system because it's so popular and you know we're doing pretty well, so I mean, yeah, go who. So then after the lottery system, the ones who are selected, you're ordered from the most saber points to the least saber points, with the most being group one, the least being group eight. Group one gets to enter the arena two hours early, I believe, while group eight gets to enter the arena one hour early. Uh, the seats are open, so it's first come, first serve, so whoever gets there earliest gets the seat. That's what I tried to do, and... I'm 35, I'm 35. <laughs> So I eventually got to my seat and there they were, uh, the UVA team and then probably the best college basketball team in NCAA history. That's pretty funny. Is he the So for the next hour, it was mostly filler, but then they started to do the introductions, which actually got pretty cool. Until finally the game began, and I was about to lose my sh. In the beginning, the game wasn't looking too good. Duke was making all their shots. Bad shot. We 
couldn't hit anything. Then the most incredible thing happened. Hey, guys, I'm going to the pick. Jeez. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, that's LeBron. What the? Yo, yo, yo. That's LeBron. What the hell? I know this is very unlikely, but I could feel LeBron looking at me. I mean, he was literally looking at me with his eyes, although, you know, hundred, hundreds of meters away, looking at me with his eyes, and I was like, I could feel it. I could really feel him looking at me and giving me the wave. What can I say? You know, for some reason, this actually kind of changed the game. We were hitting our shots, we were playing good defense, and we were able to cut the lead to four by halftime. There we go. Good screen. Good screen. Let's go. Oh, there it is. There. Oh. Hey. Hey. But in the end, there was nothing I could stop the talent that Duke had. I'll just stop talking to let you see the unfortunate ending to and what probably still is an awesome night. So that was a pretty insane game. Um, even though we lost, I had a lot of fun. I don't think I, I personally don't think I've ever seen that many valuable people at the same time. Um, and I know that the Duke team, the starters, are just going to be worth millions of tens of, possibly hundreds of millions of dollars, and possibly billions. So, and then there was LeBron, of course, uh, my homie, gave me the wave and everything. Uh, but yeah, um, if you've made it this far, I want to thank you for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you on the next one. Peace.